Hi there, ladies. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, originally I was gonna post the video until I had a better camera, but you know, I had to have the camera looking kind of nice today, so I thought I'd post the video. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of fitness today. A question that I get asked a lot is one, where do I get my waist shaper? Sorry, I see a little sweat marks on it. But where do I get my waist shaper? And do I recommend waist shapers? And just general questions about them. Um, first off, I want to start by saying I most likely recommend waist shapers as a sweatband. Only reason why I have a waist shaper is because I was unable to find a sweatband. And what I mean by sweatband is just something to go around my midsection. So whenever I work out, do crunches, run, you know, that kind of type of stuff, it accelerates the calorie burn in my midsection. Um, the reason why I do not recommend waist shapers per se is people tend to buy them too small. And what I mean by that is they try to go with the craze to have the illusion of a super teeny waist that is, of course, not normal. It's not healthy. It's, I don't know why they want it. It looks kind of odd, but that's why they get the waist shapers. But I want to start by saying my first tip for if you're going to, if you really want a waist shaper, buy one that is your correct size. This one is actually getting too small for me. This is, I believe, an extra small. Um, like I said, I just wanted to burn more in my midsection, not really to make my waist smaller. I already have a small waist, so it's just, you know, to help me keep my abs, you know, like, you know, keep the appearance of my abs. Um, since it was an extra small and I washed it and it got smaller, I will be buying another one that is a small, just simply so it'll stay on my stomach. I don't want it to suck anything in that will be damaging and I do not want it to cause shortness of breath when I'm working out because that's also a no-no. Um, another thing with waist shapers are, like I said before, don't believe the hype that you will get a small waist just by wearing this for six hours a week, four times a week. If you want that small illusion of a waist, you're going to have to wear it 24-7. And so, I just don't recommend these for that. But if you want to use them as a sweatband, I would recommend that. Get it a size bigger, actually, than you may actually wear simply because it'll that eliminates all side effects of it that it'll just be on your stomach just nicely fit um so now what i'm going to do for you ladies is just show you granted like i told you before it shrunk so it's gonna look like it's sucking in so i'm sorry for that but i'm going to show you how it looks on me and yeah so I'm just gonna buckle it up. Real quick while I'm buckling it up, I'll tell you a few exercises that I do while wearing my waist shaper. Is crunches, Russian twists. Um, I also do sit ups. The difference between a sit up and a crunch is sit up, you come up halfway, a crunch, you bring your arms all the way to your knees. So only your head and your um, shoulders, chest, come up when you do a sit up for a crunch, all of your um, upper body comes up and goes towards your knees. So that's the difference between a sit up and a crunch. It's like you say, I'm struggling to put it on, you should not have to struggle to put on your waist shaker when using it as a sweatband, but like I told you, it's shock. Oh, and also another thing I've got, I looked at when I did this. You see, I have mine on the first row of clips that's when you're using it as a sweatband this should be the only one you use only the first one you're using it as a waist shaper to bring in your waist once again i do not recommend it but you will put on the second one or the first until you work your way to the second but yes this is how it fits 
on the side, and as you can see right here, as you move in right here, it sucks in, and as I'm talking, I feel like a shortness of breath. So, yeah. That's how it looks. So, my recommendation is, yes, actually use a sweatband where you can buy at Dick's Sporting Goods, um, Dunham's, any sports store, you should be able to find one. Also, you can check Walmart and Target. I know that they've had a few, a few ladies, um, some of them found some there for sweatbands or um, waist shaper vests and corsets. I will post down below where I got mine from. But once again, first recommendation, get a sweatband and not a waist shaper. Just simply because the sweatband is healthier, less side effects, and it's just we want I want you ladies to do stuff that benefits, not harms your body. And I would definitely be looking, since this one is now too small for me to use, I would definitely be looking for a sweatband for myself. And if I find one, I will make another video for you guys. But um, just to recap what I said. Waist shape, shape with no sweatbands, yes. Um, core exercises that I do while wearing um, waist shape slash sweatband. Um, sit ups, sit ups, head, shoulders, chest come up. Crunches, whole upper body comes up to your knees. Um, I do Russian twists, which is when you take your, um, take your hands from behind your head and you're halfway up like you're doing a, um, a sit up and you go from left to right. Left to right equals one. Don't cheat yourself, ladies. Left, right, one. Right, left, one. You know, whichever one you start with first. Um, um, also, running. Not a lot of people know this, but running really works your core muscles. I guess because when you're breathing, you're kind of like sucking it in, making it tight. So yeah, just that also works your core muscle too. Also, when you're running and you feel like you're running out of breath when you're exercising, exercising always exhale because keeping uh, I want to say like keeping your breath in while you breathe doesn't get rid of the toxins that you're trying to get out while exercising. So you must breathe in and out. Always make sure you exhale. Another thing with exercising is lots and lots of water. I drink at least two of these a day. I should be drinking way, 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 way more. This equals 32 ounces. Two water bottles roughly, like Dasani water bottles. Two of those roughly. And um, yeah, so if you try to drink lots and lots of water, um, it helps with skin also, and it helps with hair. So yeah, lots and lots of water. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you ladies. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And I will be happy to get back to you. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and a great day. And I shall see you ladies later. Bye.